Hi guys, in today's review we have something special. This is a limited edition Hatton's Genesis Coaches. And this one's era six and it's in the BR Corporate Blue Pre-Tops livery. And this is a BR, a generator unit coach. And I believe this was a pre-grouping coach originally, I think it was Great Eastern. And I paid 36 pound and five pound postage for this. And this is a limited edition of 300 in no lights and 300 with lights. If you want lights, it's a little bit more. So let's get in it, see if it's worth the money. So here goes, shall we? Starting off at the detail bag, you get you get a detail bag with some extra steps to go on the coach underneath. You have to screw them in, I believe, or the slot in. You also get the instructions on how to remove the roof. It's just eight clips. So get your thumb under and lift it up slowly, easy. Also how to DCC fit them for the lights. And then you also get a piece at the bottom to do with the centre wheels and the sled if you want to remove the centre wheels. Moving on to the front or back of the coach depending on your preference. We do have an NAM coupling added to the coach. We also have metal black buffers, not sprung but metal and the black painted black. The rest of the buffer housing and buffer beam is in the BR blue with lots of rivets dotted around on there. In the centre of the buffer beam we do have a hook in black separate ply bar looks of it with a little chain link as well. We also have a vacuum pipe or air pipe to each end of the coach. On this side of the coach you can see we have the wiring for the electrics for this coach. We also have a wood panel effect going on but it's painted blue in BR blue and we also have on both sides of the coach we also have lamp irons added separately applied as well and I believe they are metal. On the other side we have the same buffer beam obviously. We also have five steps making a V shape going up. We also have some metal handrails as well. Again we do have them se separately applied lamp irons as well. Moving on to the size of the coach now. The coach livery for this is BR blue and grey and I think there's a white line between the blue and grey as well. This used to be a five compartment coach, I believe a lavatory one from the Great Eastern. We have crisply applied, we have the number of the coach which is DE320104E. Then further on down the coach we have generator unit. Then between both of them we have, which has been tampo printed I believe, to make out some sort of vent across one of the windows for this coach. Crisply done may I add. We do have separately applied door handles and and grab rails. They are painted gold. Moving on down to the sole bar I want to call it. We do have a few underframe detail there. We do have a few rivets and other things and plaques as well. We do have footboards which have been already applied by Hattons and they are metal and the hatch metal as well. We do have some in the detail bags that go further up the coach between the running board and the other footballs that you see, I believe. As we do an aerial view now on top of the coach, I've already taken the coach roof off, it just clips away, your fingernail under it comes off easy. The coach roof itself is in a grey, does have electric lighting fitted to the roof, which is correct for the coach. We also have a rain ducket as well either side of the coach roof. Moving on to the inside of the coach, we do have the racks for your luggage. We also have the seating in red, but where the vent is, we do have the seating in black. If you are a modeler and you want to change that, you probably could put a unit in there to make it a bit more realistic. And you can also see we have a glazing bar inside as well. The luggage racks are separately applied and they are quite sturdy as well. And finally, as we move on to the underframe detail, like I said before, this does have NEM couplings also has metal footboards and they are quite strong too. We do have some more footboards in the detail bag to add, which I believe there's some holes where you put it. We do have a centre wheel and like I said you can take it out but it's pretty good, it's pretty free rolling. We do have, I think it's a gas cylinder. We also have some electrical equipment too by the looks of it. We have some semi applied piping and we have some brake rigging as well. The brake rigging itself it's flimsy, it's a bit loose on mine, but that's been all my Genesis coaches. And this coach does have six wheels, obviously, and they all are the three discs version and they are metal. Points test. Yeah, it managed to points test pretty well. Now in the past some six wheelers have struggled.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session. I hope you like the points test that I did, uh, just to show it can do points. And then points are second radius as well. The Lurko that was pulling the train was the new Hornby 9F. If you're not seeing my review, it'll be coming up in the top corner now. The coaches that were with it, I think, are all Lima coaches. Uh, I don't really do blue-grey stuff, but I had a few and it's the best I can do. I don't really have a diesel to go with it, so... I think it looks okay. Uh, for me, the, the coach, £36 unlit. It's not a bad price in this day and age, it's actually quite good. Especially for something that's a limited edition. The postage is a little steep, but I'm not going to review the postage, but I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, there is another one coming out later in the year, or next year, uh, by another manufacturer, uh, which will be a good comparison to see how they look against each other. I'm guessing with these, you could use them on any part of your railway. You could take the body off and have them on the side. As, well, an ele electrical box unit, basically. Um, you could do the detail parts inside. Me, I just keep it as it is. Yeah, it's out my era. I normally do up to era, era 5. But it looks the part. It's something unusual. It's a bit like the W1. It's unusual. You, you don't really expect to see such a thing on people's layouts, really. Yeah, for me, it's a superb mod model. Lots of detail, lots of weight. Very free rolling. Uh, when I was doing the detail parts in the white box, it wouldn't stay still. Um, I don't know if that's because my board's a little bit on level or the box is a little bit on level. I don't know. It wouldn't stay still, so I had to sort of like do the best I could. That's why it wasn't really on track. Even when I was doing the intro, it wouldn't stay still. I had to slightly jam the points to keep it in position. Um, but failing that, it's wonderful. If you can get your hands on any of the Genesis coaches, please do. If they're your sort of thing, please do. They're, they're wonderful. Uh, so for me, it's a big thumbs up and the price isn't too bad. And if you want to improve it, like I said, you can. So guys, that's the end of the review and end of my opinion. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So please take care and goodbye.